Hey guys, welcome back. It's David with the Maxonics Tech Support. And today we're gonna to test some speakers to make sure that they are in good working order. So the first thing that we're going to do is test the resistance of all of these speakers to see what our resting resistances are. We're gonna start with our six and a half inch subwoofer with coil number one. We're going to have our multimeter set for resistance. And we're currently getting a resistance of 3.1 ohms on coil one. We're then gonna to go to coil two. And we're going to see what the resistance is here. Looks like about 3.3 .3 ohms of resistance. Perfect. We're gonna set this speaker aside temporarily. We're gonna to move to our six by nine. Our six by nine has a slightly different speaker terminal. It does not have the push pins, but it has spade connectors. We're going to touch our test leads to each and see what our, volt, our resistance is measuring. Looks like we are getting about 3.5 ohms of resistance on our six by nine. Finally, we are gonna test our handy dandy little six and a half. It also has the small connectors, so we're going to touch both leads. Uh-oh. As you can see, the resistance of this speaker is reading 0.4 ohms. Now this speaker does not seem to be a in a good working order. It should not be reading 0.4 ohms. This would be indicative of a blown speaker. Next, we're gonna show you the differences between parallel and series speaker connections and how to accomplish them on our dual voice coil six and a half inch sub. We're gonna start with a series connection which is taking the positive of coil one and connecting it to the negative of coil two. This should increase our resistances from what were 3.3, 3.1 to a higher number. Now we're going to test by inserting test lead into coil two's positive and coil one's negative. Sweet. As you can see on the multimeter, we now have a total resistance of 6.4 ohms. So if we connected this speaker to an amplifier in a series connection, the amplifier would see a six ohm load. I'm first going to remove my test leads from the speaker terminals. And my jumper. I'm going to leave my jumper on coil one's positive. And I'm going to jumper it to coil two's positive. Then I'm going to do the same with coil one and coil two's negatives. Now both of my coils are linked together. So by testing one positive and one negative, it should give me a reading of about half of our original resistance of 3.3. .3. 
as you can see, we are now getting a total resistance of 1.7 ohms with both coils wired in a parallel configuration. So if we connected this speaker to an amplifier that was 1 ohm stable, it would produce about the same power as if it were at a 2 ohm load. The next speaker test I'm going to demonstrate for you is commonly known as a polarity test or a polarity check. We're going to connect my alligator clips to the positive speaker terminal and to the negative speaker terminal. And then we're going to use our 9 volt battery to pop the speaker. I'm going to take my negative and attach it to the 9 volt battery's negative terminal and just tap the positive speaker wire to the positive terminal. As you can see, the speaker will move outward. This is a great way to tell what positive and negative terminals are on a speaker without knowing previously or having them indicated on the speaker. Now you may ask what would happen if we have them backwards. Let's go ahead and demonstrate. We'll connect to the positive with our negative and tap our positive speaker wire onto the negative terminal. As you can see, the speaker pulls in as if it were moving backwards. This would indicate that the speaker is reverse polarity and hooked up backwards. And that's all I got for testing a speaker. Thank you for coming. Subscribe for more videos. Have a nice day.